Language. It frames our thoughts, connects us to one another, communicates our needs, opens our world. But a child without language is alone and isolated, is unable to share feelings, depends on others, can be fearful, and never will fulfill the promise that lies within. SLCD, the School for Language and Communication Development in Glen Cove, New York, gives children the miracle of communication. And it is here that Jessica will have every opportunity to find her voice. Children with language disorders have an insidious problem. These are not children who are in wheelchairs, so you can't see the developmental disability. We take for granted the fact that all children are going to learn to talk, and that's not true. He was diagnosed with oral apraxia when he was about two, two and a half years old. Um, basically what that means is that Jordan would not have speech, conversational speech, till six or seven. And as many children uh, with autism, he has a tremendous inability to relate to others, has severe deficits in language and communication. He was delayed. He was not doing the things that all our friends' children were doing. She was already busing to schools at two to try to help her interact with other children and, and to try to bring out her words. Everything is based on communication in our society. Learning how to socialize, learning how to read, learning how to ask questions, have conversations, learning how to write. Everything is language-based. The children who don't have words, who don't have language, they're really isolated. Jessica will participate at SLCD every school day for six hours and join children with similar needs who range in age from 3 to 11. We don't use any labels here other than to say that children have severe language disorders. These children have different kinds of neurological problems. I can't go into someone's head and adjust their neurons, but I can do something about the fact that a child is not talking. I can provide him with the right teacher, the right setting, the right curriculum, so that he has the best opportunity to learn. The way they teach the children to, to speak, they do a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, they do a lot of visual things. They're experts, they know what they're doing, they care. SLCD offers a full range of therapeutic support, individual and group speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and adaptive physical education. These interventions all contribute to building body and mind and address each child's specific problems. I see the joy in him. I see that he's able to start expressing his needs. He's starting to express his communication, interact with his peers, and I'm absolutely delighted. In addition, involvement in the creative arts takes each child on a personal pathway where he or she can explore discover and expand communication skills. For every child at SLCD, parents are integral members of the teaching learning community. Regular training sessions help them understand their children's needs and provides them with techniques for supporting their child's development. Jordan's affliction is really a challenge that can just be overcome with the right environment through uh, learning, um, not only Jordan learning, but my husband and I as well, taking advantage of the parent classes and parent counseling that's offered. We've been taught how to stimulate language in the learning process at home. Dr. Tegeman is a believer in uh, parent training. She sees the parents as the initial teachers, and uh, she in turn taught us how to become uh, more proficient uh, teachers for our children with special needs. Family support is vital for every child's success and extends beyond the work at SLCD. This underscores our central mission to return children to their home districts, communicating effectively and prepared to learn. Since he's been here the full two years, going on his third year, he says sentences, he says things that you totally understand. He will tell you things when he's hurt, he will ask for things that he wants, 
As she began to acquire the language she needed, she began to be less compulsive. She was more able to say what it was that was bothering her. I believe that the real key for Ellen, for her to open up, for her to become more relaxed, for her to be able to interact with the kids more, she began to do was learning these words. Parents measure success by seeing their child enter into the world with an inspiring and unique combination of language, confidence, and joy. Now, SLCD, a nonprofit private institution supported by public funding and donations, needs your help. We have a, a motto at SLCD, and that is that silence is not golden. And it's not golden for the children that attend SLCD. And our goal, our motivation, and our purpose and mission in life is to break that silence and to give these children the gift of language. Today, Jessica is involved in an active learning community. Without funding to enable SLCD to continue to provide such critical and needed services, many of these children would be sentenced to a life of silence. It's an extraordinary experience for me to meet a family whose child I've worked with 15 years ago and find out that this child is going to high school or going to college, that this child has a dream and a mission that he or she can fulfill because they're able to talk. She wouldn't have been interacting with other children. She wouldn't have had anywhere near the, the language or the comfort level in life to deal with to deal with new situations. She's learned strategies. She's learned language. Um, I feel like SLCD has given her a life, and I am so terribly grateful for that. There's nothing that a that you can give a mother that is more wonderful than that. Language. It frames our thoughts, connects us to one another, communicates our needs, opens our world.